Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Optifine plus Forge plus another mod into Minecraft 1.6.4. So first off, it's going to be kind of a long video. I just want to let you guys know that. And uh, so first off, if you guys want to continue, um, you actually want to download Optifine. What we're going to do is click on the link in the description. It'll say Optifine. And what you're going to do is actually go down to the Optifine right here, and you're going to see this is a preview, and this is 1.6.4. So it's not it's not the fully updated version of Optifine, but it is going to be working for 1.6.4. So um, what you want to do is actually just go here and go to the download, and just click on the download and go through the AdFly stuff and save that onto your desktop, and it should look just like that. Optifine 1.6.4. So it's going to be right there. Um, the next thing you guys actually want to do is download Forge. Just make sure you guys click on the link in the description for Forge. And uh, what you're going to do is actually scroll down to the recommended 1.6.4. Um, the installer right there. Just scroll down. This is the recommended version of Forge. So just go over here to the installer. Um, click on the installer and save that onto your desktop just like that. Minecraft Forge installer and Optifine. So there you go. You have those two. And any of your mods that you guys have. I have Daisy mod. It's a very simple mod. All you have to do is add into the mods folder. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to install that with, with the... Uh, with the Minecraft and with the Forge and the Optifine. So that's just a simple mod. And that's not really part of the video. I'm just showing you guys that you can install both, all three of those mods into the Minecraft 1.6.4. And it will be working. So first off, in order to get started, what we're going to want to do is actually open up the Minecraft Forge installer. And what you want to do is actually just install client. So just push OK. And you're going to see this downloading libraries. And you're going to see successfully installed client Forge. So just make sure that's done. Push OK. And then what you want to do is actually open up Minecraft. What you're going to do next is actually um, go down here to edit profile. And you want to click on edit profile. And you're going to see this use version tab right here. What you want to do next is actually click on the tab. And you want to scroll all the way down. And you want to click on the Forge. So just make sure you select it on the forge and push save profile and click play now um, the reason why I'm actually doing this is because I'm actually going to run Minecraft with forge installed now the, uh, because it's going to create the necessary files and folders that you guys actually need in your Minecraft so I always recommend to do this for one just because like I said it's going to create those files and another you guys can test and see if your Minecraft haven't ca crashed yet so just make sure you're good with the step you have three mods loaded three mods active those are all part of for forge um, so there you go there's the Minecraft uh, currently, and you guys are at that step. So what you want to do next is actually exit out of Minecraft. Make sure Minecraft is closed when installing your mods. Alright, so after you've done with the Forge installer and you've... Uh and you guys have opened up Minecraft with Forge installed and went to the edit profile, what you're going to want to do next is actually install Optifine. Now, if you guys actually just double click on this Optifine, um, what it's going to do is it's actually going to see, you're going to see this is going to install an installer. And this is going to create a whole different profile for Optifine. So you don't want to do that. What, do, what you want to do is actually just um, right click and open this with WinRAR. Now, if you guys don't already have WinRAR, there will be a link in the description so you guys can download and install WinRAR. Um, so there you go. Just open up Minecraft with WinRAR. So so again, just right click on it and open it with WinRAR. So just make sure you're doing that and that's going to open up your things here. Now once you guys have done that, um, again, you're not going to want to double click on the Optifine. That's very important. If you double, if you double click on that, and it's going to create a different profile. And what you want to do is you actually want, want to run it off of the Forge profile. So make sure you guys follow this video and just kind of, uh, you know, I'm trying to explain it and kind of be slower um, than usual. Just make sure you follow this video exactly like I showed you. Um, so again, there you go. Just open up the Minecraft and uh, the Optifine and WinRAR, and then we want, what you want to do is actually open up um, <clears throat> your Minecraft folder. So you want to do is go down here, and you want to go down to start. You want to type in percent a p p d a t a. The percent at that and another percent. Then you want to go to that roaming folder. Now you want to double click on that roaming folder. You want to open it up, and this is where you're going to see the .minecraft. So you want to open up that .minecraft, and you want to go down here to the versions folder. To open up that versions folder, and this is going to be the Forge file right here. Um, again, this is the Forge profile. So just open up that Forge folder, and on the very top folder, that's the executable jar file right there. What you want to do then is just right click on the executable jar file and open this with WinRAR. There you go. Very simple. Open up the Forge with WinRAR. Um, there you go. And what you want to do next is actually just click on that meta inf. Um, there's really no reason. I like to do it because I think for some reason it might crash or whatever. Just it's very, not very important. Just make sure you just right click on this meta inf right there. And what you want to do next is delete those files. Push yes. Make sure you delete that meta inf because that's part of Forge. And I always had issues. If I didn't delete it, maybe I had black screen. So I guess you guys can test that out yourselves. But I would just recommend to delete that. And then you're going to open up this Optifine. Uh, if you guys actually are kind of lost just again just right click on optifine and open it with moonar and that's how you get this folder here so this is the optifine and this is the forge what you want to do is, is right click on this and select all 
and drag all these files I've optified right into the Minecraft Forge folder right here. Just op just drag it in there and push OK. Um, that what that's gonna do is gonna drag all those fold up from folders from Optifine and put it into the Forge. So there you go, you guys are done with the Forge and you guys are done with the Optifine. So you guys can close that and then. Uh, what you want to do next is actually go back one, and you want to go back again, and this is where you're going to see the .minecraft folder right there, and you're going to see this mods folder here. Now, if you guys are actually lost, you don't know where I'm at, um, that, how we got to this was percent after percent, then we went to the app data, and then we went to the roaming, and then we went to the .minecraft, and this is where you see the mods folder. So just make sure you're on that mods folder. Um, if you guys don't have that mods folder, just create a new folder, all under caps mods folder, open that mods folder up. And what you want to do is actually just drag in whatever mod that you guys have. And I have the DayZ mod, so you just want to drag in that DayZ mod right into uh, the mods folder. So you guys are done with that, and you guys can open up Minecraft. So we're not done installing it yet. You still have to do something for Optifine. So just open up the Minecraft Forge, uh, the Minecraft launcher here. And then what you want to do do again is go to edit profile again you want to make sure you're on the used version used version of forge and now we have to actually set up something for mine for the optifine so you want to go on here to the jvm arguments you want to select that and you want to take that and you want to delete that because it's really not that important so what you want to do is actually just check out the link in the description and it will probably be right underneath optifine um, you can find this DFML, um, kind of weird stuff. It's going to see equals true, the negative, and you're going to have a bunch of weird stuff there. So you're going to see all this, and it's going to be in the description below. So you guys want to go down there, and you want to copy that. So just like this, you want to right-click, and you want to copy. And then we'll go back to the JVM arguments. And what you want, what you want to do now is actually push Control and V. So push Control V on your desktop at the same time, and it's going to paste in that stuff there. So you're going to see all that stuff there, and you're going to see that there's only one negative in front of that one, and there's only one negative in front of that one. So if you guys are actually getting extra ones, it's 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 probably something to do with your Minecraft that's extra kind of like when you actually push Save Profile and load it up. But it's very simple, just like that. I'm um, just put it in there and push Save Profile. Uh, excuse me. So then you want to click play, and this is actually going to load up Minecraft. It's very complicated, and I hate it. I wish they had some better way. Um, but there you go. That's completely done installation. And like I said before, if you guys are getting a black screen here and it's not working for you guys, um, just make sure you go to that JVM arguments, and you guys don't have any e extra negative stuff in there. So just go to that mods folder. You're going to see the Optifine, and you're going to see that the Daisy is installed too. So you're going to see Forge, Daisy, and Optifine is all installed. So I want to go to single player. I want to create a new world. I'm going to go to creative real quick. I just want to actually load it up in Minecraft, um, just to show you guys that uh, the Optifine is working and the Daisy mod is working. Um, so it's going to see loading world right here. It's going to take a while. And I'm very sorry. Like, th I know this tutorial is very hard. And you just have to be very patient. And just follow the video exactly like I showed you. Because it's, it's so much stuff to do. You know. And, and unless you're like really into it. And you've done it a lot like I have. Then it's going to be kind of harder. And I do apologize for that. But you're going to see that uh, I did have. If you go to the options menu. I have the, the Optifine set up here. You have you have those um, extra things there. So you can see the Optifine is working. And then I actually want to go to um, the Daisy folder here. And you can see that those things are working too. So there you go. There's your mods installed. I hope this video helped you guys out. Like I said. Um, I know I, I, I do apologize for being so kind of complicated. But that's it's really nothing that I can do about it. Um, like we, the Optifine, if you guys want to install Optifine and without Forge and without the other mods, yeah, just double click on it and do the installer. But if you want to have all that other stuff, that's the process that you have to go through. That's the best knowledge that I know of. So there you guys go. If this video helped you guys out, please make sure you guys get, make sure you guys give this video a like. That helps me out. So yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching.